Welcome to Nucanic. Today here in Nucanic we have a 2010 Mercedes S400 V6 hybrid motor. Um, we have a check engine light that's on. We're going to read it with our uh, with the code reader and be able to see what has happened to be the issue that we can potentially fix. So um, we've read the code and now we have here on our um, on the UCAN scanner and you can see that we have a few different codes in here, but this is the more important one, is this P034800 code that we have here. Um, it's stored, and that is that the position sensor for the intake camshaft cylinder bank two, right, has a short or is malfunctioning, right? So it's the intake camshaft sensor on bank two. So we will locate that uh, sensor and go through that process to be able to replace it. So first, um, of course, you would pop the hood. The hood has been popped and raised, and now we gain access to the engine, and we just need to remove this little cover right here, which is held on by two little pins that push through the grommets and pop up. Sometimes there are actual springs that clip on here, or they've fallen off in the process when you change your oil and whatnot. And these are the little pins that go through these rubber grommets to hold it. So we can set that aside. This sensor is a fairly easy one to uh, locate and to replace. Um, sometimes there are some other components in the way, uh, but this one is very easy to get to and to replace. Okay. So the sensor here, if we are looking at the motor, the way you're going to denote whether um, bank one or bank two is you'll figure out which is cylinder number one, which on this motor, this is cylinder number one. It's very, um, the way you find out which is your um, bank one or bank two is by this cylinder is a little bit more forward than this cylinder because of the V shape. And so that is always going to be your cylinder one, whichever one is the closest. And so it's not huge, always as easy to, to figure that out, but a lot of times they are a little bit offset. So that way we know that we are looking at bank two right here. And because this is a, a V6 or a V model engine, we know that the intake on this one goes down the center. And so our air box is right here, goes through all the intake system. And so then we're on this side. And so when we are looking for a cam position sensor on the intake side, you're gonna look for the one that's closest to the intake. And that would be this top one. And then there's another cam position sensor that's down here, and that is for the exhaust side of your, for your cam position sensor. So we've located the closest one to the intake, and so that is our cam position sensor um, for the intake on bank one. So to release this, we need to press up the safety lock. And once you get that, press that, then you can press the clip and be able to unclip the connector there. And now we just need to move these wires down a little bit and we will gain access to the bolt that holds this sensor in. This is a E8 is what you'll need to get to remove this. All right, so we have the bolt removed. We should be able to remove that sensor, move it um, a little bit side to side, and then be able to pull out on the sensor to remove it. Just really does. So we've removed the old sensor and yeah, we want to make sure that the O-ring came out with it uh, so that when we put in a new one, we're not pushing two different O-rings. So we have our new replacement sensor. I just put a little bit of oil on here to make sure that the O-ring um, will slip in there nice. And so now we can install the sensor. Get it lined up uh, nice and straight and then just be able to press it in and have our O-ring make the seal. And now we just need to get that bolt in there. All 
All right, so we have our E8 um, bolt is snugged in there. Now, just to go ahead and make, make our electrical connection and then push our safety lock down. Go ahead and put our uh, cover back on. And that would be the replacement of your intake clean position sensor on your 2010 S400. And then, of course, you would need to delete out the, or clear the code because we've now replaced it and make sure that it doesn't come on very shortly. Thanks for watching Mechanic, or you can be the mechanic.